good bit rushers it's kyler today we're talking about how to get honey on honey swap and what you can do with your honey once you have it before we get into our content though just a couple quick announcements throughout the month of september i'm giving away a moonlander asic minor comment on one of my videos or all of them throughout september to be entered we're building up a nice team on telegram that earns passive crypto uh, some trading signals and just all kinds of good stuff mining related crypto related so if you're interested join up also follow us at bitrush9000 on twitter links for all of these in the description let's go so if you're not already please subscribe to the channel and uh, smash that thumbs up button help this video with the algorithm thanks guys okay so First thing we need to do is to get some XDAI in our MetaMask wallet. If you don't have XDAI in your MetaMask wallet or you don't know what I'm talking about, you can watch my last video, okay? I'll leave a link in the description. It is labeled how to get XDAI and I explain everything you need to know about getting XDAI. Once you have your XDAI, you're now ready to use HoneySwap. So we can come to about.onehive.org. This is their main like about page. And if we come to apps, we can go to the Honey Faucet. The Honey Faucet is where you can get free honey. And I've actually signed up to do this, but I've had a little bit of a snag. You have to get this bright ID. And I'm just going to tell you, this is like the most annoying thing I've ever done. Absolute worst customer experience. So you sign up for this thing and you have to join one of these like parties. That's like a, a live chat, like webinar type thing. And... I didn't have my webcam on because I was on my desktop and they kicked me out of the thing and like tried to ban me and I tried to come back with my my actual laptop with my camera because you need to have your camera I guess and then they they quit the thing and just like canceled it and we're like alright we're done and then I never got verified so I still haven't got verified on this guys um, but I am going to try to get verified on the bread ID and turn on my faucet and when I do I'll show you that but basically there's a certain number of honey that gets dripped out every day and you have to come in and just claim it once you're connected. If you can actually manage to get somebody to verify you on Bright ID. Uh, but yes, yeah, so that's kind of cool. And then we also have a OneHive DAO interface. So this is something that is uh, also pretty cool. It's kind of like smart contracts where you can put up proposals and people can fund your proposals like crowdfunding and it's already pre-programmed like a smart contract. So you're probably thinking, well, what am I gonna do with it? Well, how about this? Look at this. What does that one say? Big tips for BitRush crypto. What, only one honey. So here's my thing, guys. I've created this. If everyone that comes in here and gets some honey watching this video puts a tiny little bit of honey, like .00001, whatever, give me the smallest amount of honey you can. And if everyone does that, it will build up to one honey and when it builds up to one honey it will drop it into my address if we ever get it so it's kind of something cool i was messing around with it but i figured hey you guys want to test this stuff go ahead and test it out with the tip for me all right um so just closing those down coming back to the apps we also have the honey swap interface and honey swap analytics and for those of you that aren't familiar with Uniswap, this is basically a copy of Uniswap. They switched out the branding and they put it on the XDAI chain. So if you're familiar with Uniswap at all, it's basically gonna all be the same stuff, okay? But I'm gonna go through it for you either way if you're not familiar. So on the main page here, we have the amount, the total amount of liquidity. And right now we're just over a million. So a million and a half in liquidity, which isn't bad, um, considering you know XDAI is fairly new here. And the volume, we're actually, we have more volume than we have liquidity. So we have, um, you know, 1.8. And uh, yeah, so that's looking good. Then we come down here and we have the top tokens. You can see the top tokens on their platform. Obviously, Honey is the number one. That's their coin. And that's the one that everyone wants right now. And that is up 11% in the past 24 hours. The price is at 1,000. Wow. Okay. That is up quite a bit. Last time I saw it, it was like six, six, seven hundred. Uh, yesterday so that is up quite a bit um, liquidity and we have the volume and then you have the ticker symbol so you have this for all of them xdai obviously is going to be a stable coin so it's going to seek to stay around a dollar 
Steak is also X to high. This is, um, I'm not sure exactly what steak does, but it's a version of X die that actually does have a value. See, so it's $20. So this one's not stable. So that's like their non stable coin. And then the X die is their regular stable coin. So just, you know, keep that in mind. There's two kind of X dies. And uh, we come down here to Moon. So Moon is up 321%, killing it, Moon. So that's probably going to be a popular coin to get because. Um, it is growing so fast here that a lot of people are probably going to want that one. And then just coming down, you can see some of the other ones here. And then we can look at the pairs, and we can actually see um, which pair is um, creating the most in liquidity. So you may be thinking, well, if XDAI is super fast transactions and super small transaction fees, why would you want to provide liquidity? And the answer is a lot of these coins are going to be having so much transactions, like the, the volume of transactions is going to be so high that even with the small transaction fees, you're still going to earn pretty good. If you look at this, 28%, 168%, and this is based on a yearly. Um, they, they take a 24-hour volume, they annualize it. So based on you know just the past 24 hours, if that were to stay the same over the next year, you would be annualized at 169%. That's pretty good. And then even some of the smaller ones, look like Link, 33%. The Moon is 69%. So a lot of these are pretty good, guys. Um, and if we want, we can click on Tokens, and here's the full token list. And then you can click into each one of these tokens individually just like you can on Uniswap, and you can find all of the information on the price of that token, um, all of the top pairs, you can see all the transactions. So just like Uniswap, guys, it's just gonna be a whole lot cheaper and um, less transaction fees. Now, if we come to accounts, you can search all these different accounts or if you have one saved you can do that if you don't have your account saved you're just going to come to your metamask wallet and click here to copy your address and paste it in this will bring up your own liquidity so how much liquidity you have provided i was just messing around yesterday and since the transaction fees are so small you can put a couple dollars worth of liquidity on the network put it on pull it off and it's only going to cost you you know under 20 cents to pull it on and put it off so when you're working with small amounts that's really awesome because you're not losing more than what you're actually using and i put two dollars on each you can see the two dollars on the moon because moon has gone up so much i've actually gained 28 percent on the price of my moon and it's not on the x die because the x die is going to seek to stay at a dollar even though i have actually got more than a um, one x die right now and then if we also look over here i've gained a little bit you know less than one cent but it's only been a few hours so that's pretty good and even with the small transaction fees you're still earning same thing with the honey slash x die so that one was on moon this one's the honey one and this one is actually i'm also over a little x die and I've gone up a little bit, about two cents on that, and we have earned as little as well. So I was just messing with these guys. This isn't for like an example. I just wanted to make sure everything worked before I showed you. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that right now. We're gonna go ahead and buy some honey, okay? So sorry I give you this little tour here um, in the beginning if you weren't interested in that, but here we go. Let's get into the main thing. So if we come here to this, we come to the app and we go to the actual HoneySwap interface, that will bring up the trading platform that you're used to seeing um, on Uniswap. And from here, we have our XDAI. Remember, our XDAI are valued at $1. And just like when you're trading with Ethereum, you never want to trade out all of them because you do need to pay a little bit of a transaction fee. So you always want to keep a little bit in the wallet. So I am going to go ahead and get some honey. That's what this video is about, right, guys? Let's get some honey. So I'm going to actually get 50 honey, or I'm sorry, 50 X die worth of honey. So $50 worth of honey. Okay, so my 50 X die is going to be 
0.04 honey. If that looks good to you, we can go ahead and swap. And it's going to tell you the exact amount, the liquidity provider fee. So here we go. It's going to give 15 cents on this transaction. So $50 transaction, and we're only paying 15 cents. Looks pretty good to me. And there it is. Yep, the total. $50 and not even 50 cents. Look at that. It's 0 0.000408 is what the actual gas fee is right here. Crazy, guys. Absolutely crazy. That I'm always yelling, or not yelling, but I'm always getting mad at Uniswap for these crazy fees. $10 fees, $13 fees, $5 fees. And here we go. Under a cent. Way under a cent. Here we go. Awesome. Love it. Transaction submitted, closed, and just like on um, Uniswap, you can see on Etherscan here, you can see on their Block Scout, it's called. So you click up here, and it opens up Block Scout. Look at that. You can't even open Block Scout, and it's already confirmed before you open it. That's how fast these transactions are. So now I have my honey in my wallet. If you didn't have honey in your wallet, you just need to add the token like you would any other token. So you click here, add token, go to custom token, and paste the contract address in. You can get the contract address from the page here. Come to that tokens page on HoneySwap and just copy the address out of the URL. Okay, guys, I'm not done yet. You guys saw that moon was growing. I want to get some moon, too. So let's check how much left do we have. We have about 96. I am going to get... Um, let's get about $40. X moon... So this is a little bit glitchy, guys. They're still working out some of the kinks, so. Um, let's come back over here and we'll just search again. So let's go to the analytics page. Let's go down to moon. Moons on X die and click trade. There we go. This should work now. There it goes. All right. So it's just taking a little while to load, guys. Like I said, it's still a little bit glitchy. Um, but get what you get. I'm actually going to lower it. Yeah. Let me do 35. Actually, let's just get 500. There we go. Confirm swap. Again, look at these fees. So small for you guys. So small. This is amazing. Love it. So... You guys see me, I do a lot of micro investing, $10, $20, $50 in coins that are micro cap coins, hoping that they explode, but you usually spend, you know, even if I'm putting $50, $100 in, I'm usually spending $10, so it's like, you know, $90 in the coin and $10 on the transaction for a $100 investment, and then you have to make back at least that 10 on the investment just to break even, or on this I'm spending cents, so now I, you know, I can make the smallest amount and I'm going to... Um, regain that transaction fee so excellent and it's so quick too you guys see that I don't even pause I used to have to pause my videos when I'm doing these coin videos like let me just pause this here and I'll come back and I come back 20 minutes later to finish up the video no more of that with honey swap absolutely amazing guys so now I have some X moon and some honey so what can we do let's provide some liquidity all right so let's go back here and moons on x time i'm going to add liquidity i already have a little bit in there right so i'm not going to put all of it because when one thing to keep in mind if you're going to do liquidity is we're tied to a stable coin which means it's always going to try to balance the growth of the other coin 
to the stable coin, which means we're going to lose if this coin is going to actually 10x, 100x, you know, have any significant growth. You're going to make more on the growth of the coin, on the volatility of it, than you will on staking liquidity. Okay, so that's just something to keep in mind. So I'm not going to put a lot of these. I'm only going to put like, um, I guess let's put like 10x die worth. So this would be $10, this would be $20, okay, total. So I'm gonna supply that, confirm supply. Again, look at that, one cent, awesome. One cent for a 20, $20 worth of liquidity, I'm paying one cent. Here we go, the transaction has been confirmed. And now I wanna supply a little bit more liquidity on Honey. So I currently have about 50 X die left. I think I'm gonna put all of it in. We'll leave a little bit, some change for some transactions. And I guess that will leave us a little bit left of honey as well, but I'm gonna try to put as much as I can on here, guys, and just see what happens. If, you know, honey is actually growing pretty good too, so I may get wrecked on the honey volatility as you know i'll probably make more if i just sat on my honey but i want to do this for the video and just to kind of show a follow-up of how much i'm making and everything like that so you know i'm not doing this necessarily to make the most possible gains i could on my money i'd probably make more just sitting on the honey but i'm going to provide liquidity anyway so here we go and again one cent so now i'm putting a hundred dollars in right 50 on each so a hundred dollars with the liquidity, I'm spending one cent. Amazing. This one's taking a little longer. As I said that, it goes through. But that was a little longer than the previous transactions. All right, so close this one down. And we can now come back here to our accounts page. I'm just going to refresh it. It does sometimes take a few minutes. And it's already in. Nope, so... We now have $100 worth of liquidity on Honey and XDAI, and we have $23 worth of liquidity on Moon and XDAI. Pretty good, guys. So um, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you're enjoying the new Honey swap with the low transaction fees and the super fast transactions. I know I am. Um, if you do, please smash the thumbs up button. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to be notified when I release future videos. Please share this one with any friends or family you think may also like this. Uh, who doesn't want to trade for low fees, right? And quick transactions. Other than that, happy mining, happy staking. Let's get that coin.